pieces and uh, uh, desperately two times if Alex wants to be the champion. Yeah, they talked about the, oh, the turn to Aerodactyl and all of a sudden it popping off, turning off the, the abilities. But with that line, it might not be the easiest thing to get accomplished. You definitely think need things falling correctly in your favor. Well, we will go ahead and take our first peek at what's going on here in the prize cards. Five good ones, six good ones. All right. Aerodactyl piece is not there whatsoever over on Connors and three different energies to the capture and one of the V guard, but we'll still have plenty of pieces because you have to get your own setup going too. You got to going there and beyond that, hope that you can. Yes, uh, this is going to be uh, definitely a bunch of fireworks here in these opening turns. Very important to see uh, what goes on here. And I think Connor just said that he's going first. So uh, definitely a big piece to remember here as we start this match. Being able to go first, you can start making sure those Archeops get pitched away into the discard and make sure you can set yourself up with the best, best success of getting those down on the next following turn. Evolution incense to start instantly pulling an Archeops out of the deck. Yep, we've seen this Lugia deck time and time again, and sure enough, the most important piece is finding those Archeops, getting those into the discard pile, making sure your resources are there, and get that summoning star going, because uh, if you don't, <laughs> there's a uh, there's an Aerodactyl waiting to turn off everything you've ever dreamed of. Yeah, I mean, uh, we talked a bit beforehand about it, but uh, it really just comes down to who sets up. Like, once you're beyond that, I mean, yeah, there's so much time on the clock, but if you can't really do anything, like, what's the point to that? You're even talking if Alex all of a sudden sees the birds down go, go down on the other side, that in a lot of normal cases, that's just a scoop. Yeah, and uh, Connor is going to be thinking about the following turn here now. The hand not too impressive, but grabs the Luminium, thinking about uh, the future turn and has the capture energy too, so at least a second Pokemon. And this is a very strong start here. Love to see the Oranguru as well. Maybe you could even use Luminion if you wanted to play that down, throw a supporter on top, not worry about Marnie, but you know that Melanie is usually the uh, the card to worry about from your opponent. Yeah, I mean, we've talked about what we kind of wanted to call this deck earlier on, and yeah, Vika Volt is such a strong part of it. But that Melanie, you can't discount that either. Being able to get that energy attached is just so strong and so crucial in a couple of moments of being able to get that Vika Volt winning cases set up. All right, and Connor's going to go ahead and pass the turn here now. And it's over to Alex, who's going to take a peek at these prize cards and <laughs> get some good news, I guess. <laughs> We're not going to be able to grab anything fun, but uh, nothing too bad there in the prizes. Yeah, and a good chance to look over what is, in fact, stuck in those prizes. Makes it so when you're going through the deck check, you don't have to quite be counting quite as much. You already know what is exactly I there. I think Alex was desperately hoping that a lightning Pokemon was in his prize cards because he's got a bunch of energies, a speed lightning, and no way to get this hand moving. A bunch of Mews, and looks like not much help here either from the Mysterious Tail. Just going to go grab another energy? That's your fifth. I mean, anything that you can get out of there. So maybe this Mysterious Tail has a better chance at finding something that's going to be a bit more helpful than all this energy. Yeah, I mean, you can use one of these to retreat and try again. You've got another Mew in hand and just uh, maybe find something. <laughs> the trekking shoes into something. Who knows? But one really good item card, the Battle VIP Pass, is going to be found. That's going to work out. Sure, you just had a handful of Mews and energy, but... It's going to be enough to get you to that battle VIP pass because getting more of a setup going down is going to be fantastic. And then what do you want to be looking for in this case? We see the Vika Volt, Radiant Greninja being pulled right out. The Raikou, actually. Yeah, this is uh, just a nod to how important it is to be able to stay in the prize exchange here with the Lugia V, which is likely to be a V-star on this following turn now. Just go ahead and get that Raikou charged up and maybe get something moving here. Uh, two cards off of the concealed cards there at this point. And going back in, Ultra Ball in hand. Just have to decide what you want to be getting rid of. There's quite a few energy, but it's going to be w another Mew. I guess, yeah, you don't need to throw one of those. And a Cross Switcher that will get get tossed for that Aerodactyl. Well, you can, you can always hope, right? <laughs> and, uh, Connor hasn't shown anything yet. You, you do know there's a Luminion in the hand, so at least a supporter will be available at some point. But maybe you can put Connor on the one-turn clock now. Yeah, you either you have it or you don't. If it the summoning star doesn't come out this turn, then know that there is going to be this threat of this Aerodactyl wow. on the horizon. But Evolution Incense, 
things off, be able to go and grab this Lugia V-Star. This is going to work so well. We see that V-Star under flip over the Archeops, making their way onto the bench, and that is such a solid start for Connor. That is exactly what you need to find here. Now is going to be able to look through the deck and find all of these energies and get this Lugia charged up. And uh, you start to wonder about what other Pokemon you want to attack with in this instance. Uh, just because y you get worried about that Raikou uh, and, and on the follow-up. And then at this point for Alex, sitting here, seeing the V-Star counter flipped over and the Archeops on the bench, what are you looking for? <laughs> well, uh, I'm going to need to reuse this Raikou a few times if you want to stay in the match, because uh, there's going to be an endless flow of energies and Pokemon to attack with those energies uh, from this point on. And that means that Vikavolt is not very strong. You're only dealing 50 damage at a time. You're trying to do an item lock, but items are usually used to find those Pokemon or get towards those energies withdrawal, and you're, you're just not going to be doing that. <laughs> it's, they're already available for Connor. Yeah, as cool as the Vika Volt portion of this deck is, there's a couple of different varieties to make sure that you have everything that you need up against the field. The Primal Turbo is over on Connor's end. Going to be used and power up this Lugia. Get ready for an attack. Yep, we see holding on to some powerful energies. There's uh, opportunities there for uh, cards like the Archeops to get involved in the attacks. So we've seen... Uh, Stoutland sometimes to knock out some of these Pokemon, and I'm going to go ahead and remove the Aerodactyl completely from play here, it looks like. Yeah, I mean, this way, too, you'll be able to get the two prizes just as opposed to the one. Make sure the prize rate could be a bit more favorable for you. <laughs> that's and, uh, just going to be it. That's the scoop. Game one going over to Connor, being able to get those Archeops out, and that's the end. It, for this Vega Volt deck that first turn. Yeah, hopefully he's got TSA pre-check. He's trying to get on that flight nice <laughs> and early now. And uh, up one game must feel fantastic. He was, uh, he was feeling down on himself going into this matchup, but that really is how this works. The yep. opening turns are so important. Being able to go first there just means that you have that opportunity. And boy, was that a good summoning star. Yeah, it certainly was. We've seen before that sometimes Lugia takes a couple of extra turns to get the cards needed, but everything coming together for Connor in this really crucial moment. He was nervous about this matchup too. We'll have to see how this game two goes because this is Alex's opportunity to show what this deck is about and what it can do. Absolutely, yeah. When you think about the matchup, even on paper, there's a lot of lightning Pokemon. There's ways to turn off uh, get, getting to those item cards and you can turn off my V-Star ability. It's like, okay, that's really bad for Lugia, right? But uh, it's, it depends on how the cards flow. If, if you can't find them at the right time or if you can just get all these cards early enough, then there's no problem. Wow, that's a, a lot, lot of Pokemon. A lot of Pokemon in the prize cards. Four corner here. Gonna be Luminion, Bird, just everything going on out. The Uranguru will be the starting Pokemon over on Alex's end, the Vika Volt, but the Battle VIP Pass will be able to start search out something like this Aerodactyl and put this pressure on. Yeah, that's the, the importance of uh, the build here for Alex. Has so many ways to use these item cards optimally and get a 1-1 one, one line like this Aerodactyl lined up. We see that uh, card featured in this list is the Forest Steel Stone, which can also all but guarantee that this Pokemon will find play. So being able to get all of this going and start by going first basically means that Alex is going to do what he wants. Yeah, taking the opportunity to also put this Raikou V down on the bench and eye up the rest of the deck, figure out how these things are and make sure you're set up to go. But already this is, oh, it's better than game one. Yep, and we didn't see the Radiant Greninja here, so maybe that's a card that's already in the hand or there, there is a way to continue to draw from this point. To look through, speed energy in hand, so attaching onto the Raikou can go ahead and draw two from the deck. Yeah, we see a lot of fringe cards that could help out in some instances, but nothing particular for now, and no water in the discard for Melanie uh, for the next turn. So we'll see if Alex is able to piece all of this together. Start things out for Connor. I have Wisdom to start. Gene, a Quick Ball there, an Alter Ball in hand. Definitely ways to be able to get Pokemon and grab one of those Lugias and start trying to get Archaeops as well to throw those away. Yeah, we see the Archaeops there. The Quick Ball is in hand too, so we'll be able to get both of those into the discard pile and go and find the the, uh, the Lugia if necessary. Or it has to go actually for this Luminion, it looks like. I didn't know if there was uh, another 
Pokemon in the hands now, or if he's just going to have to leave it up to the top five. I mean, at this point, too, you want to go for your own setup, but also staring down this Aerodactyl on the bench, staring down Alex with a few cards in hand. Has the Lugia. Lugia so in hand, so strong. even better. So get that set up and be able to Marnie. See a couple of cards, but try and make sure that Alex won't be able to have anything going for him next turn. We've seen in a lot of matchups, when you go second with Lugia, you better get two of them because they don't like to stick around too long. And going to just have that opportunity now. And Connor's going to try to do a little bit of disruption here. Alex is holding on to a lot of cards and feels pretty content. And maybe uh, just sticking him on a four-card hand is what you need to do. Especially, too, you just need to push him back that one turn. You just need to make sure your summoning star goes first so that Marnie is going to come down. These X, these Hands thrown to the bottom of the deck. Connor able to grab five. Be interesting to see what Alex has on his end. We're going to see the evolution incense for that Lugia. And that's going to be going into the hand now. Maybe uh, Orangaroo could just leave that on the top of the deck if there's nothing else that uh, you want to think about from this hand. This point just to pass over. Might Wisdom was used so early on, so unable to safeguard it for next turn. But now we'll have to see if Alex is able to get there. Trekking this, shoes. Yeah, these shoes are very important. They're the only way that something can get done this turn. And it just finds water energy. This last shoe is so big. Not there. Ultra Ball. Huge find. That was a huge walk, a huge trek to get there. But finally, the Ultra Ball, the last available card to get at that point, And will be able to go in and look a little bit further into that deck, it'll be the Crowback coming out, Dark Asset, to be able to get more cards. Yeah, that was, uh, that was getting very scary, uh, down to the very last card here now. But we'll be able to play out this hand a little more, too. The energy onto the Aerodactyl, we'll, we are fully committed here to getting out the V-Star. Just go all in. You can oh, get that Aerodactyl V-Star. That's stick, not good. But that's, that's not what we needed here. Yep, there's a, there's a couple supporters, energy search, a ditto. Uh, this, is, this is not okay. No, I mean, this deck can be so powerful in the options that it offers, but there's also so many pieces to it, and it's just missing that one piece to the puzzle that's going to make all that, can make all that difference. Marnie will be able, able to get another opportunity to get something. All right, these are the biggest five cards of the tournament here for Alex now. Desperately needs to find a way to get this going, and that is so bad. The Aerodactyl V just sitting on the bench. You're able to go first. You're able to start getting that pressure, but unable to follow through the training court and just the pass over to Connor. Connor's got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he's got he's got three energies, a pumpkin, and a and a what is that? A boss's orders? Primate wisdom. That'll be eight. Always felt grabbed off of that. You needed that one to be something useful for you, but not this time around. Capture energy onto the Lugia. Your opponent gives you the window where you could use your summoning star, and he just can't find the Lugia. And if he placed it on top with the Oranguru, it would have been available, but I, I, maybe he used it early, but he had knows? to use it to start the turn, so I wasn't able to safeguard against the Marnie, and that's the thing with these Marnies, they can be so strong in that wow. disruption, just has to be a pass back over. Yeah, this is unreal, both players trying to get something going here. There is a water energy in the discard pile that Melanie finally gonna get used. And is there a way to get the Aerodactyl V-Star out? I still don't see it. I don't think so. Sitting on quite a couple of cards, but not anything that's really gonna be able to help out. This is such a frustrating situation. Yep. Of course, uh, energy Some for the cards. turn is still available. So maybe just go with that plan that's worked for so many other decks and attack with the uh, the Vika Vault for the time being. Avoid items uh, being uh, an answer. But no, going to go ahead and retreat now and go on this aggressive route, maybe drawing into something with the Fleet Footed. Speed Lightning Energy, that's a nice find. Two additional cards. That was last time. But if you what are you going to get off of those cards at that point? Because Yeah, this is the big piece that I've been looking for here is the Radiant Greninja. It's so helpful in these early stages where you play so many ways to find these basic energies and uh, continually bring them back. It's just a nice way to refill the hand over and over again. 